This is a very interesting technically based um, definition. So as a patient, I would think of how much is my burden of care? How much do I suffer when somebody does surgery or a dental treatment? So this is something which is interesting and for me also the complication rate. So as a surgeon, I always try to explain my patient whether something is very predictable, like a sinus floor elevation, or more unpredictable, like a vertical augmentation. So predictability and burden of care are for me more important than the incision line or how much tissue I elevate. Definitely, they have evolved. So I think patients didn't expect too much from dental implantology. They expected a tooth. Um, and, and now they're really discussion, is it possible without a bone graft? I heard that this might be difficult. And on the other hand, they heard that there might be also technical problems. So I think they're asking more questions. This is good. Uh, and if they have good experience, they already come and say, look, I had good experience with this technique or, or company. Please do this again. Yeah, they definitely have evolved and, and we will see in which direction they go. On, on one side, surgical techniques get better and refined, like the 3D meshes, we do less augmentation, no extra oral bone harvesting anymore and um, more immediate loading. And on the other hand, the hardware is getting better, like narrow diameter implants. People are more open to discuss these options. So I think this is also an evolvement of, of the scientific community. Yeah, I, I like the distinguishing between uh, biological and, and technical complications and I think you should be honestly talking about these limits. So when I do a narrow diameter implant in the molar area, I talk to you about possible technical complications. And an older patient with, with, with let's say, a bleeding compromisation would be happy to have this. On the other hand, a bruxist would not be happy. And on the other hand, you talk about biological complications. When we do a bone grafting, we have to deal with the soft tissue. And I think these two things are the ones which made out the long-term success. And minimal invasive treatment should always be weighed against the complications. Yes, Strauman is, is uh, really focusing on this point. Of course, Rock Solid was opening a door. Uh, the 3.3 was kind of a niche implant for some indications. Now it's getting more and more into the focus. Um, and, and you see that with the SDI implant, you develop an even smaller implant. And I'm sure that soon you will also be developing some mini implants for the edentulous mandible, perhaps. So uh, I, I like it that the company also becomes more open-minded. I like this question. I would look for a dentist and a surgeon who are really well educated and then this is the safest and the fastest way. We will talk a lot about the regenerative uh, procedures and, and I'm sure that we will expect a lot there. Um, so the biomaterials are, are not at a limit yet. So there will be a, a lot of things happening. Um, and, and we will also learn more about biomechanics, the coupling of the implant and the abutment. Um, so there, there will be some movement in this field.